I'm Michael Mondragon from Nerdy Connections. Today we're going to calculate the area of a scanned image. And it's as easy as knowing where to look. Okay, we're going to uh, calculate the uh, size and of these images. And what we need to do is we first need to know just where to look. And if you go into Photoshop, you go under Image and go to Image Size. That's going to give you the uh, dimensions of this. And we see that we can also adjust these as well. So right now this is just a little over 10 inches at a 350 uh, DPI. 350 is probably uh, very good for printing. Uh, if we wanted to make this more for uh, web or viewing on any devices, we probably want to make this 72 inches and that'll keep our uh, 72 DPI and that will actually if we were to commit to that, it would actually make it a, a lot smaller, but it will keep it at the same uh, 10 inches. Uh, and if we go over to this photo, now just looking at it, you don't know what size it is. If you were to look at the ruler up here, you could kind of gauge it, uh, but you actually get the most information by going into image size, and you can see exactly the dimensions. Now you can either get the inches, uh, you can actually adjust the percentage. This will be at 100% if we were to take it down to 85%. Um, as you see, only one changed here. We can actually uh, constrain the proportions, which will actually take, if I do that 80, it'll be 80% on both of them. Let me put that back to 100. Uh, I can do centimeters. Um, but let's go back into this. We can actually make this centimeters. Uh, 31.7 millimeters would be 316.99. So you can actually have a lot of um, flexibility here. Points, picas, whatever you need, columns as well. And to adjust these, you can actually go into whatever, if you needed it, say it's six inches, you can actually constrain these proportions and you can make it six inches so it fits into what you wanted to. Let's go to another image and we can actually see this in action again. Here's another sign. Um, and we go to the image. This actually image is actually lower. It's actually at a lower DPI. So it probably wouldn't be good for printing, but it's actually perfect for web because it's 72 DPI and just under uh, 12 inches here. So that's how you calculate the area of a scanned image. I'm Michael Mondragon from Nerdy Connections, and you can look me up at nerdyconnections.com. We'll see you next time.